Hi, welcome to our channel. Now we are going to see how to convert the web camera into the best security camera for our home using just 20 lines of Python code. Now we are going to see the output of this project. Run this program. Now there is no object centered onto the camera area. Now I am going to show my hand. So now we can see the sound, alarm sound. Like this, if anybody is entered into the camera area, it will give alarm. So we can we can easily capture the process. Now I am going to enter into the camera. I am going to enter the camera area. So it is so it is making alarm. Like this, we can make the security camera for our home using this method. Now we are going to do the coding. I have installed Visual Studio Code and Python in this computer. You just install Visual Studio Code and Python and configure Visual Studio Code for Python. We are going to create a new file. Go to this explorer and create new file securitycam.py. I am going to import two libraries. Import cv2. Import bin sound. If cv2 you have not installed, go to the terminal and click new terminal here. Type pip install open cv python hyphen python. Enter. I have already installed this OpenCV. If you want, you can install this OpenCV using this command. We are going to import the WinSound library. This is inbuilt library, so we don't need to install this. We are going to capture the webcam first. Create an object for webcam. Webcam is equal to cv2. Video capture of zero. So this is my first camera. That's why I'm giving zero here. If the camera is successfully connected, while true. Inside while true, we are going to capture two images continuously. The first one is underscore im1 is equal to webcam dot read so the webcam dot read function will give two values one is the first one is and the second one is image we want only this image the first one we don't want that is why i have given underscore and we are going to capture one more image copy and paste this control v i am two again so we have captured two images image 1 and image 2. Now we are going to see the difference between the two images. We can identify if there is any object entered into the camera by using this difference only. DIFF CV2 dot absolute difference of IM1 comma IM2. Now we have find the difference between these two images and store the difference into the DIFF variable. This is also an image. Now we can see the image also through the camera through the output window. CV2 dot IM show of security camera comma DIFF. Then we need to wait for a key. Wait key of 10 milliseconds. If this wait key is equal to 27, that means if we press the escape key, then we need to break the loop after breaking the window. We need to release the webcam. Webcam dot release and cv2 dot destroy all windows
So now we see the output file save. Run this. Now we can see the camera, we can see the difference only now. So if we provide the first image, then we will see that I press escape. If we give the IM1, we can give the original image. IM1, control S, run this project. Now we can see the original image here. But uh, I am giving the difference only here to the camera. So we will not get the original image here. So we will see only the different images. So we can see like this. Now we are going to convert this difference into gray image. Then only we can find the threshold. Gray is equal to cv2 dot cvt color of diff and we need to provide the cv2 dot color color underscore pgr2 gray we have converted our uh, image into gray scale so we can see this image also gray save it run this program we can see the hand in the gray color image so press escape now we need to find the threshold so this is one here only we will find the uh, different area where uh, the where are the images are different to find this we are going to use threshold image threshold we are going to create a variable called thresh is equal to cv2 dot threshold so this function will find uh, the uh, difference and give the area where the difference is there gray we are passing the gray image and uh, we are passing the values to threshold 20 and uh, 255 so we are converting if the value is above 20 we will convert it to black till 255 if the value is below 20 we will convert it to white cv2 dot thrust binary so we are converting this as a binary image now we will see the output of this image thrust control s run this program so now we can see the threshold image here escape we are going to find the contours contours means uh, where are the difference is there in the threshold image if there is more difference uh, we can identify that there is a uh, an object entered so for that uh, we are going to get the contours contours comma underscore we will get two variables one uh, one is the contour the other one uh, i am giving empty is equal to cv2 dot find contours contours we need to pass the threshold image thrust image and cv2 dot this is the retrieval mode and the next one is cv2 dot chain approximate simple so this is the method of contouring so we need to pass these things now from this contours we are getting the area for c in contours contours so now we are using the for loop to get all the contours from the from the image so one by one every contours will be coming into c now we are checking the c value if cv2 dot contour area of the c the captured uh, the particular contour if it is so less than 5000 that means the contour area is less than 5000 some fly or some uh, insects may come into camera that is why the camera may may give alarm sound for those uh, movements and all for that to avoid that we are using 5000 if it is above 5000 that means uh, it is uh, a person entering the camera zone then we need to provide the alarm sound 
so if it is less than 5000 we should not do anything that means uh, we should continue the loop if it is not less than 5000 means that is uh, if it is greater than 5000 then uh, we should uh, provide the sound pin sound beep method in this method we need to provide the volume level and the frequency length length of the sound so volume level and the length of the sound save run this program now there is no object centered onto the camera area now i'm going to show my hand so now we can see the sound alarm sound like this if anybody is entered into the camera area it will give alarm so we can we can easily capture the process now i am going to enter into the camera now the camera is uh, calm i am going to enter the camera area so it is so it is making alarm like this we can make the security camera for our home using this method we have completed this with just 90 lines of python code try this yourself if you have any doubts please write it in the comments i am very happy to answer your questions if you have completed this method please write in the comment that you have completed if you have any new idea or you want some other uh, technique please uh, write it in the comment i will try to make the video on that uh, concept i will be posting more videos like this if you want notification of all videos uh, please uh, subscribe this channel and uh, press the bell icon to get immediate notification when i post new videos if you like this video uh, please uh, press the like button and uh, if you think it will be useful for your friends please uh, share this video for your friends so if you think uh, this will be useful for you please uh, write a comment uh, that it is useful for me like that thank you very much thank you very much for uh, spending your time